Hello guys and welcome back to G Security. So in this video today I'm going to show you some two ways on how we can enable a monitor mode on our wireless adapters. So the first thing you should know is that your wireless adapter supports two modes that is managed and monitor. So when a device is set to man managed mode it only receives packets that are meant for it and for it only and that is through the user's MAC address. The MAC address is used to ensure that packets are sent to the correct destination. So when it comes to monitor mode uh, and that is if a hacker needs to capture all packets within a network and those that are destined for other users, they have to put their wireless card into monitor mode. So in this tutorial today, we are going to discuss two ways that we can achieve that. So let's go ahead and start with the first method. In the first method, we are going to use Airmon NG to put our card into monitor mode. So the, this is a tool that is within the Aircrack NG utility that comes installed in almost all hacking distros out there. And its main job is to enable monitor mode on wireless adapters and vice versa. That means that it can also put uh, a card that is in monitor mode back to managed mode. So let's go ahead uh, and start. So the first thing is to go ahead and we can run IF config, IW config sorry, and we can confirm that our card is in managed mode. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to put it into monitor mode. Before putting our wireless adapter into monitor mode, there are two things that you need to know. The first thing is you should know the wireless adapter name. You need this so that when you are running commands like airmon and g start uh, followed by the interface you have already you already know your interface name so in my case it's right there wl01 then the next thing uh, is sorry the next thing uh, is to go ahead and do airmon and g check kill so the reason why we need to run Airmon and G check kill. Let me just go ahead. sudo airmon and G check kill. The reason why we run this command is is to kill all conflicting processes that might interfere with our monitor mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill it. So in my case, there were no processes. But in your case, you may find that there are two, one or two processes that will be flagged as conflicting, and Airmon and G will go ahead and kill them. So let's go ahead and put our card now into monitor mode. And the easiest way is to, first of all, let me do a IW config. Remember, this is my card name. So I'm going to do sudo Airmon. Sorry. Airmon ng start so I've just put my card into monitor mode I can prove that by going to by go, doing IW config again and you'll notice that the mode has been changed to monitor now I can view all network traffic and traffic that is also not meant for me I can view traffic meant for other people, packets that are meant for other people, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go to the second second uh, method. First of all, let me put my card back to back to manage mode. So I'm going to stop WMON and WMON is right here. Let me confirm it's back to managed. Yep, it's now 
back to manage it again. Me clear it. So the second method we are going to utilize IW config. First of all, let's check to confirm that the wireless adapter is in manage mode. And the idea is in manage mode. Okay. Next, let's run IF config followed by our, by our interface name, then down. We are going to put our interface our wireless card down. I can we can do IF config. There it is. And this will put our card down. So we need to put the card down so that we can make changes to it, like putting it into monitor mode. Sorry. Sudo. Never forget sudo. So the card is down. Next, uh, I'm going to do IW config. Followed my um, card name, then mode monitor. Okay. Sorry, sudo again. Okay, so if I do IW config, sorry, IW, you notice that my card is now in monitor mode. Okay, so guys, those that are our two ways on how you can put your card into monitor mode and back to managed mode so if you want to do some network traffic analysis packet analysis and that kind of networking stuff the easiest way to put the card into monitor mode has been highlighted here so now our card is in is in monitor mode if you want to put it back to managed mode we can just go back to our last command then put, then do managed. If I do a double config now, my card is back to managed mode. So that's it guys for today. Hope you have learned something new. Please, if you, if you have liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And most important of all, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you. And see you in the next video.